Three times is a charm. My phone died, but I'm going to do this again because I'm going to get it out. All right. Anyways, so basically, somebody like Country Time Lemonade, or they like lemonade, period. Grape soda, orange juice, orange soda. That's all they drink. Drink some lemon water because you need to heal your solar plexus. And take back your power, your willpower. Maybe you're trying to block somebody's willpower from moving forward. Or your your willpower is being blocked from you moving forward. Okay? And the beat goes on. Just like my love ever led. I don't know why I'm hearing that song. Anyway, um, I got to do this all over. The root chakra, the base chakra, third time. Three times a charm. So somebody need to be held. Uh, accountable, take accountability and responsibility for their own actions and what they did and who they slept with. Somebody mad because they got somebody pregnant that they ain't want to have a baby with. Or somebody mad because they got an STD from somebody. Or somebody just mad because they ran up into somebody now they got spiritual demons in them. And they trying to ground themselves and break free. Whoo! I'm hearing social barrier. And I'm holding... I'm hearing, uh... Holding, uh... What did you call it? Uh, bounded. Somebody's holding on to them. You're, you're uh, breaking barriers. Wow. Somebody's holding on to somebody's energy. Alright? Somebody's like, I'm holding on. I'm not letting go. I'm not going to let go or some shit. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but this one here is the base chakra responsibility. I plant myself on solid ground by consistently taking responsibility and having personal accountability for all that I do. I allow others to depend on me being responsible. My actions speak louder than my words. I rise above excesses and overindulgence as I forgive myself for my past indiscretions. I know I could not have acted in a more evolved way than I was to than I was able to at the time. Damn. Okay, so somebody need to hold themselves accountable and take responsibility for what they have done. Especially in the past. Or maybe this is somebody that they, they, they chose over somebody or something like that. Somebody here is also in between two people. Somebody here got seven kids. Four baby mamas. Or they taking care of somebody else's kids. Or helping them with their kids. This could be a single father and a single father type of situation going on. Or a father helping a single father. Wow. Whew, wherever that is. We got courage and faith. Somebody need to put the new ports down. Somebody need to drink some water. I embrace. This is the, the root chakra. Archangel St. Michael is red. The root chakra, your base chakra is your private area. So somebody needs to heal their root chakra. I embrace courage, faith, and adapt adaptability as they are needed for me to overcome my fear of change or of the future. So somebody's just staying stuck in a situation that they're used to. Like you're just used to that type of energy which is not helping you grow or evolve. You're just used to that certain type of energy that's not helping you spiritually. Okay? All it's doing is just pulling you deeper in the ground. And I don't know why I've just seen um, that horror movie where... Um, you learn a lot from horror movies because you think that people just come up with that. Nah, shit like that really do be happening. But I just seen somebody, um, you know that horror movie dragged me to hell? Somebody is literally got got dragged like their soul is dra being drowned or dragged to hell or something like that. Or maybe that's how you feeling. But that's what you got with somebody chose some lust over love, pure love, unconditional love. They chose lust and they slept with the devil. It's a female that they slept with. That's a just the the he he the devil and she just evil. Whew. I regular I regularly remind myself to be positive and open to possibilities, knowing that I am the creator of my own destiny. So, so I'm picking up an energy where somebody was trying to control somebody's destiny. Karmic activity, karmic energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. I'm picking up. Someone was trying to recreate your destiny, recreate somebody's life. Somebody was trying to steal somebody's destiny. 
ooh, this is why they're going to literally get dragged to hell. Somebody going to start seeing demons and shit. Them demons that you was doing graveyard magic with or calling upon them evil deities. They're about to come all at once and fuck somebody up. Somebody going to end up in a mental institution because they was fucking with somebody that they shouldn't have been fucking with. Wow. And try to block them from their destiny. Or this is the karmic energy. And or this is all together. God damn. And or the karmic knew what they was doing so did the divine masculine he knew who he was supposed to be with or he felt he he the karmic came soon as he him and the divine feminine was about to get together the karmic made him feel like the divine feminine rejected him wow but the divine feminine is very high vibrational she was born a high priestess she's spiritual she knows energy she reads energy she can feel energy the energy wasn't right because he was already involved with the karmic. Because the karmic already knew. The karmic was sent to him by his friends. By his family. His friends and his family knew. So now his friends and family. When he go around his friends. Or somebody who he call his brother. Or brothers. Or maybe it is his brother. He go around their family. They all looking at him. Laughing at the both of them. When they all knew that he wasn't even supposed to be with her. Wow. That's that's a burn. Maybe he did get burned. But damn, you play with fire, you going to get burned. Somebody playing with fire heavy. Somebody know how to manipulate fire. Somebody's element is fire. Like, that's just their fire. Whoo, shit. We got earth and fire energy here. So, somebody, there's an earth sign masculine dealing with two fire females. Fire energy females. Wow. That's crazy. I embrace the warrior in me, within me. I remind myself to be a warrior, not a warrior. I am not a victim. I feel the fear and I do it anyway. I am ready and eager to move forward. So somebody is scared to move forward because maybe these karmics that you had sex with or that they had sex with going to expose them for something because they know all they, they, um, they secrets. Like somebody work in the um, jurisdiction. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I don't know why I heard that. I heard the jury. I heard um, somebody could be a judge, a lawyer, a physician, a police officer, a uh, military. Some type of authoritative figure where he got these karmic females that he was fucking, that he was sleeping with, that's working. That's his assistants or working beside him. They filed papers or something like that. Yeah, he was, he was getting, somebody was getting busy in the, um... In their office. Damn. Somebody thought they did. That they was the man. But the females knew that they were sucking off of your energy. Because you were supposed to have a divine. You have this. You were supposed to be divine. You're not really divine. Because when you uh, interact with karmic activity. With karmics. Whether male or female. You become that energy. Wow. I don't know why I just heard. I am my brother's keeper. Wow. Mm. 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 This is, this is something else. Them bitches was playing on you. And they laughing at you because they sucking off of your spiritual abundance. But the karmic sent you to your divine feminine. To, and they, the karmics was calling her uh, a karmic and that she was evil. That she wasn't who she is or high vibrational. You were sucking off of her energy and you knew exactly who she was. You can't go sitting around or go to her and apologize with a fake ass apology or <laughs> sobbing or some shit like that. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. You did know. You knew her abundance. You knew her spiritual inheritance and everything. And y'all all was sucking off of it. You was taken from a divine feminine to give to karmics. You don't think you're going to get some karma for that? Some karma going to whoop that ass. All I see is Pootie Tang taking that belt off. That's exactly how the universe going to whoop your ass. All y'all. All everybody getting ass whoopings. Divine feminine. Over there just chilling. Doing her thing single. Ain't worried about a thing, even though they still blocking with, blocking her money, playing with her, playing with her life. Trying to keep her alone. Don't want nobody to have her doing fertility spells so she can never have babies because somebody has infertility. Oh, somebody got infertility issues. This could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got Capricorn and Taurus and Virgo masculine energy over here. We got Capricorn real heavy. Capricorn, Sagittarius, cusp. 
or it could be Capricorn and Sagittarius, Virgo and Sagittarius, Taurus and Libra, Taurus, Virgo and Leo. This is fucked up. Second chakra, Archangel, Ariel, Creative Manifestation. This is orange. Wow. It says, I have the ability to manifest and create positive outcomes in my life. It is a time for me to manifest. What I need, I ask myself, what do I need? I am optimistic and creative and carrying out all of the tasks that come my way. Even seemingly mundane ones. And I maintain a positive attitude in all that I do. I am open to receive and I am deserving. Okay, so somebody felt like somebody uh, wasn't deserving to have. Because Divine Feminine... Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be a part of no third-party situation. I'm not going to be with nobody in a commitment when you committed to karmics, when you committed to low-vibrational things, and you do 3D things, and you overindulge in drugs, and drugs, and sex, and got sex addictions, and somebody playing with fire. Somebody, somebody, somebody is demonic as shit. They, they doing spells faithfully. There's an Aries that's going to get into a car crash and she going to burn. Ain't no way. Even even if somebody driving her, she take take a Uber or something, she going to burn. The driver going to get out. It don't matter what she do. There's no way around it. She going to burn. Somebody's going to burn because that's her karma. Somebody got seven kids, four baby mamas. I don't know why I keep saying that. Oh, I keep saying it. Somebody needs to stop sleeping around with these uh these hoes out here messing with these hoes. Oof, somebody could have two STDs. Oh my goodness. This is crazy as hell. Somebody feel like somebody ain't deserving because they feel like, oh, she's selfish, or the karmics was making them seem like she was she was selfish because she wouldn't have th threesomes. The fuck? No. Get the fuck out of here. What you sleep with is what you inherit. Body count. They out there sleeping with all types of things. You don't think they bringing that energy back to you? Mm. That's why somebody confused. That's why somebody can't move on. That's why somebody so disgruntled and angry. That you were sleeping with demonic entity. You were sleeping with soulless. You were sleeping with people who sold their souls, who has no souls. Cold hearted people. That's why you angry and disgruntled. Damn, that's fucked up. And we got heart chakra here, green, green, which deals with uh, Archangel Raphael. That is the heart chakra, the fourth chakra, okay? We got compassion and forgiveness. We got peace. So I'm going to read peace first. I will meditate and be peaceful and calm in my interactions with others and the world. So somebody got a world platform or somebody is known all over the world. Doesn't have to be. This could be social media. Or this could be where you traveling or just anywhere in the world. Peacefulness comes in me, giving up the love of power for the power of love. Wow, somebody loves to have power. Somebody is abusing their authority as well. I'm picking up uh, uh, somebody could be a Virgo or a Libra cusp. Somebody here could be in a political field. Or somebody here deals with something within the 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 systems. They can manipulate the systems. They can, they're abusing their authority. I'm hearing Aries energy as well. And Libra. This person doesn't want, whoever they're inflicting this uh, pain upon, because hurt people hurt people, whoever they're inflicting the pain upon, they want that person to suffer because they won't give them what they want. They want to have threesomes. They want to have sex with whoever they want to have sex with. They want to do what they want to do. But because the person is so high vibrational and divine, they like, no, they have boundaries. The person that you you trying to attack or that you are attacking, going in the system, changing shit. Like, you you don't think that you want to get, okay, you got that type of power, but the, there's a higher power, a divine power, a divine source, a light source that's getting ready to show you who is in power, who's in check. You can't do the divine's work. 
You going in the system changing things to cause somebody hell. You want somebody to be homeless or out in the street. You want somebody to look busted. You want somebody to just be busted and have nothing because you want to continue to suck off of their energy. Oh, you're not going to let me suck off of your energy because there's a Capricorn here. I don't know why I'm seeing a double card, but the Capricorn or Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Libra. Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini. Gemini is the, the culprit of the whole situation. He's sending people out. Something going to happen to his store, to his store. He's not supposed to have that store. He ain't supposed to be no businessman to have a biz, run a business or a store. Somebody's store is about to get shut down or something's going to happen and it's going to be very unexpected. There's no way that you could try to tap in. You're not going to be able to be tapped in because the, the, the divine in the universe is about to block you from seeing Having that foresight because you using whatever you got and stealing people's gifts to use it for evil to hurt them. You trying to use people's gifts and spirituality on them and against them. Karma. Bad karma. Mm. Damn. Alright, let me read this real quick. Oh, I read that one already. Wow, somebody going to forget something. Somebody need to double check something. Somebody also need to go over what it is that they already read. Or some type of contract. Double read it. Read it. Twice, three times, four times if you got to. Because if you if you moving too fast or you reading something, you're going to miss something. You need to go back and read it. Look at it. Somebody need to do their research. Somebody don't want you to read the contract. They just going to put it in your face, make it sound real good because they want your signature on something. That's going to get you into a lot of trouble because somebody's trying to sign their life over to you because they want you to sign your life over to them. <gasps> Ooh, be careful what you're doing. Be careful what you're doing. Don't do it. Don't do it. And they mad. They mad. They are mad. Somebody hate it because they want you to sign your life over to them because they want what you got. Because they couldn't take it spiritually or in the metaphysical world, in the in the spiritual world. They couldn't fuck with you. They they fucked with you, but now that you are aware of it and who they are, you tapped all the way in. Ain't no way these none of these motherfuckers gonna get over you. Even if they is in the they are in the public eye. And sending people using people against you from your past to control you. Somebody going in the system changing some shit on purpose. Wow. Oh, my God. They call him about to be crazy as hell. But let me read these two right here because I picked these up. Well, these flew out. What else fell out? I'm going to read this one because this one fell out. All he, Buddha, God, whoever you want to call him, Yahshua, wanted was for us to understand our own nature. Isn't that so simple? You don't have to believe in anything. Simply by making the right effort, you understand things through your own experience and gradually develop all realization. So this person didn't realize who the fuck they was fucking with. Whoa. Whoa. And Yahshua about to show him. He just wanted the, he just wanted people to understand who you were, to have a better understanding. And he wanted you to realize who you were too. Do it all. Do it all. Don't beat yourself up. Divines, don't beat yourself up. Chosen ones, my fellow chosen ones, don't beat yourself up. He wanted us to realize who we are and to realize the situation we were in wasn't to hurt us or to destroy us. Because somebody out there saying, oh, if they if she believe in God and her faith is so strong, why God allowing this to happen to her? He not allowing it to happen to you. Or Mel's too. He not he not allowing it to happen. It's it's for you to teach you a lesson because whatever blessing that you're about to receive, he don't want you to be in that state of mind that you were in in the past. He wants you to evolve, and that's what happened. That's what you did because you went through these things. These people thinking that they was teaching you a lesson. They were supposed to be learning a lesson too. They refused to learn a lesson. They refused to to evolve. They refused to um to change their bad habits. To change their evil ways. They missed the lesson. Now they about to miss every blessing. Oh my God, yo, somebody gonna be crying. They thinking they were stopping you. They was pushing you to evolve into who you are. Oh, now she's spiritual. No, that's 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 who I've been all my life. I had a spiritual awakening. You had a spiritual awakening. 
Somebody else refused. They refused the the the, the lesson. They were they refused to evolve. And these people are older than the person that they was attacking. Oh, she's stupid. She dumb. Oh, she young. She ain't gonna do nothing. She ain't gonna know I'm attacking her ass. She ain't gonna ever find out. But until it took some music, it took one song for me to go and say, oh. Or somebody else. It took one song for somebody to go and say, let me go on this person's page and see what they all about. I haven't heard them in a long time. Something come on on the radio. You just want to follow their page. And you go and you look. Ain't this a motherfucking bitch? Are you serious? So everything I done did already, you copying? You got this bitch over here copying me too? You out there? You was the one out there saying all the things about me? Where everybody else spreading the rumors, lies, all types of shit. Wow, the divine, the divine is not happy right now. Somebody gonna have to go through some things, some real hard shit spiritually, metaphysically, mentally, verbally. Because you spiritually, metaphysically, verbally, mentally abused somebody, a divine one, a chosen one, and you wasn't supposed to do that. They don't hate you though. They don't hate you. They don't hate you. They forgive. They forgive, but they forgive themselves more than anything. And just because somebody forgive you don't mean that they're going to allow you back into their energy because you are an energy vampire. This is an earth sign male. Working with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius females. We got a Pisces and Aquarius here. A Libra. Aries. Leo. Gemini. This some crazy shit. Hold on. Let me get another card. I want to get another one of these right here. Then I'm going to get another chakra wisdom. All right. So this day is a special day. It is yours. Yesterday slipped away. Mm. It cannot be filled with more meaning about tomorrow. Nothing is known. But this day, today is yours. Make use of it. Today you can make someone happy. Today you can help another. Today, this day is a special day. It is yours. Okay, so somebody literally, like I said, was trying to steal your life. They was trying to steal your joy. They was trying to steal something that is yours. That belongs to you or try to block something that belongs to you. They can't. They can't. No matter how powerful this person think they are or how much they can manipulate the systems or how much that they can do black magic to fuck with your car or get you in a car accident or to, to hurt you or to break your back or to, to do something to you. It's not, yo, somebody, somebody going to do something to you that's going to piss you off. It's going, it's, it's God testing you. God, God is going to allow this person to, to, um, this person thinking that they testing you and that they training you to be who they said that you was be who they said that you would be. Wow. Or they, or they were saying that you, who they was trying to make out for you to be that you're not. People are coming to the realization of watch the dog that bring you the bone because, um, the person who was attacking the divines and the chosen ones, the true chosen ones, the star seeds, the indigo children, the rainbow children, all that. Earth angels, all that. The person that was saying negative things on that person was basically saying the negative things that are about themselves. And people are learning about that person. Yeah, that, man. Mm -mm -mm. Let me get another chakra card. I gotta go and make dinner. All right. So we got spiritual awareness, which is the crown chakra, which is purple archangel Uriel. Wow, told you, spiritual awakening, spiritual awareness. I just said that. And we also have unconditional love. I just said it. I just said it. Unconditional love, the heart chakra, Archangel Raphael. So I'm gonna start off with the spiritual awareness because this card came out first. When my mind sways negatively, I remind myself of love, truth, gratitude, and spirit. I am the observer of my thoughts, and I do not let them bring me down. I remind myself to have gratitude and acceptance for what is and to have the courage of my own convictions. I continually pursue a clearer understanding of spiritual truths behind all that is and all that is unfolding. I ask myself, is what I'm thinking the truth? And is it 
having a positive or negative impact on my life. So somebody, then I say somebody need to watch the dog that's bringing him the bone because what are you hearing and what are you experiencing? Is this the truth? Somebody's living a lie. <sighs> They not they're not living their true selves and what they were called to be. They don't they don't have gratitude and acceptance of a person who have these spiritual gifts because let me tell you why I'm I'm single still. Any male, I'm gonna let you know who I am and what I'm called to be. I'm gonna let you know. I, look, I'm highly intuitive, I'm psychic, I don't need these tarot cards, but I'm also a tarot card reader. Uh, I, I can teach you, I can help you, I'm a healer, I can help you heal if you're hurting or something like that. I got you uh, spiritually, metaphysically, but you're going to have to put most of the work into yourself because I'm not going to sit there and do all the work because now you're soaking off of my energy, all right? It got to be an equal give and take, but you cannot come to me with negativity. I don't mind helping you, all right? But, um... They didn't like me because I, I'm intuitive. I know when you out or about to go, I know when you were lying to me. I can hear it through your motherfucking teeth. I can hear it through your breath. I can smell it in your breath. You lying. You lying. Because so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so, you did this and that and that and that. And they look. Yeah. Oh, confirmation. You got that look? Yeah, I know. I know. I know what you're doing. I know what you did. I know who you did it with. I know. I'm not stupid. You thought I was stupid. You played on me. You played on my spirituality. You played on my gifts. You played on my knowledge and my wisdom. I have an ancient bloodline with ancient knowledge and wisdom. High volume knowledge. Occult knowledge. Things that I don't even need to read in a fucking book. I receive from higher sources. Or sometimes the lower realms. But I don't have to fuck with the lower realms. I don't have to conjure up anything. I don't have to evoke evil spirits. I know. I know. That's why they, they, you know, they break up with me. They be like, you know what, I'm sorry or whatever. Then you want to apologize. I don't need to hear all that shit because you knew what you was doing when you did it. You grown. You old enough. You need to hold yourself accountable for what you did. You know what, it's all good. You keep it moving. I'm going to keep it moving. It's all good. It's good. Nah, I know. I know that you got her pregnant. But that other one ain't your kid. <laughs> I know what happened. I know about the setups. I know about the hidden agendas. I know about the cameras in the neighbors' houses. I know about the neighbors trying to come into your house. I know about people putting shit in front of you and in front of my house. Like, come on, I'm not stupid. I know about the cameras. I know about all this stuff. I'm not stupid just because I'm not speaking on it. And when I do speak on it, on the truth, everybody try to gain up on me. Or if you're intuitive too, you feel me. You know what I'm talking about. Everybody try to gain up on you and say, oh, you crazy. Oh, you this, you that. You know what the fuck you're talking about. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. But they hate the way you speak and you come out because you so real. Because fake people not going to understand no realness and no real shit. Because they never been real. They trying to clone you. Think niggas out here, bitches and females. Females... And niggas trying to clone me. After my blood, threatening me, all types of shit. Crazy shit. Like, for real? And thinking that, I'm like, yo, chill out. You need to calm down. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. It may work for a little while, but it's not gonna stick. And you gonna get some karma. It's gonna ricochet. It's gonna backfire. And they think I'm doing reversals. I don't do reversals. Oh, we hope she do that reverse. Now I'm not doing no reversals. I don't fuck with the dark realms. That's not who I am. I don't do that shit. I bring people out the dark. From unreal to real. From darkness to light. Like I said, I don't have a problem with anybody believing in Lucifer because he is as above, so below. I mean, he's real. I don't have a problem with somebody worshiping the Lester Crowley, whoever it is that you want, you know, you worship. I don't have a problem with you doing that. But like I say, it's a problem when you find out who I am because you got gifts and you dark and then you attack me. You didn't have, you didn't use that gift, that darkness gift that you got. Oh, no, because you in the dark. You can't see light. They talking about you need darkness to shine. Nah. Light will always overpower in the, the dark. Light shines on itself. Why the fuck I need to be putting some dark to shine? Or maybe when you in a dark situation because you are light 
and you shining and the other people are around you, you're going to help them see the light. You're going to help them see what the fuck is happening in the dark. That's why light, that's why light shines in the dark. That's why the dark sometimes need light. Because when somebody's in a dark place, here come the light shining, revealing everything. Because everything don't stay hidden. Like It don't stay dark outside forever. When darkness falls, the sun gonna rise. Eventually, morning will come. And this too shall pass. Because it will. And thy will will be done. But they thought us spiritual leaders and speakers and workers, oh, they so arrogant. I'm going to teach that bitch a lesson. Oh, you want to do this? You want to tell me? I better stop. Look what the fuck is happening to you. Oh, you don't even know what's coming to you. But you got that dark gift. You couldn't see that. And in the end, when all this shit was over, that I'm still going to rise. I will rise because I rise. In my Maya Angelou voice. <laughs> You was trying to make sure that I won't rise, that I won't have what I'm 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 deserving of and that's coming to me anyway. That I am going to be gifted with and blessed times more because you kept fucking with me. It wasn't supposed to scare me. You sending dark things into my home. You you attaching dark energies and entities to items in my home because you see them in the background. That's why it's always um Good for you to be careful of your surroundings when you got dark people out here because they can see, okay, they can use the video. Let's attack that that item she got or let's attack the figurines, the Archangel St. Michael, Raphael, the elephant, whatever it is. Let's attack it. Let's attack her pictures and put a dark item and some, some evil entities into it. Let's give her a gift and attack all these demons to it that's going to eat her energy. Why we feed off her energy and her abundance so the bitch could go broke, so she could lose her job, so she could lose everything. Because that's what they want. But we ain't losing. We ain't out here losing everything. We being blessed. Because we not putting that energy back. Oh, let's let's do so much things to her to make her angry. To make her make her say God ain't shit. Because you don't believe in God. Because you got a personal issue with God that you need to handle for yourself. Because you feel like he wasn't there for you when you was getting molested. Or when you was getting attacked. And when you was getting beat down or bullied in school every day, you lost your faith. So you try to do everything you can to make us lose ours? Mm -mm. Ain't no darkness in the world that can try to make me lose my faith or my soul. And somebody going to get mad because I'm telling the truth and I'm not, I'm just being real. I'm just being who I am, being real. They're going to think I'm being mean or she try to be arrogant or she try to do this or she thinks she that and that and that. No, you said it. You thought that. Thank you for the compliment, though, but it's not needed. Let me get another chakra card and then I'm going to wrap it up. Maybe somebody need to wrap it up. Thank God I'm losing some weight. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go again. We got the base chakras. Damn. Independence and patience. Somebody hate the fact that you are patient. And somebody hate the fact that we are patient and independent. There's a male out here who don't like our independence. But there's also females behind him who are envy, envious of our patience and independence. Because I wait on the Lord. I wait on Yahshua. I wait on the universe, I wait on the divine, and my ancestors, I be seeing them, yes, I have spiritual gifts where I, since I was a child, I seen demons, I seen angels, I seen witches that were sent to me as a child. I see it all. My ancestors said, don't, don't do nothing, don't, don't even light that white candle and pray over it, we got you. If you want to pray, say a prayer, but you don't need to light no white candles for protection. We got you. Patience. As I observe in nature, growth takes time. Somebody need to ground themselves or go outside. This is a time for reflection, persistence, and surrender. Surrender to the divine. Surrender to the universe. As things unfold at their own pace. 
Well, ain't no need to force no situation to come out. There's no need to, as, as you are doing your spiritual teachings, if something come out and you say something because you're doing a reading or you're channeling messages, then it come out naturally. But don't try to force something to, to be revealed. It's going to come out regardless. Like I said, what's done in the dark is going to come to light. Take that time that you trying to make a situation be forced or force some type of situation to come out or come about. Take that time and that energy and put it into yourself. Ground yourself. Try to find out who you are or just, you know what I'm saying? Come into alignment with who you are. With who you are. Somebody going to get choked up. Or somebody want to choke the shit out of somebody. Somebody like, I, I, I want to get next to that bitch to choke that bitch. But it is not going to happen. Ooh, and because of that, something going to happen to somebody's throat. Something is wrong with somebody's throat. Cut throat. Maybe you talk like that. Maybe you hit the juggler. I don't know. But at the same time, um, just take that time and like create. Keep working on your creations. I'm still creating things. I've created so much stuff that I ain't even post yet. Because my, my, my spirit guide said, my answer said, don't post that yet because you got people in the industry. I know that's copying off of me. That's, you know, already established. They got their platforms in a, in a wicked way or how they got it. Who's stealing your ideas and they do they trying to do the shit that you do, but it's not gonna last long. But at the same time, you still in my originality. You still trying to feed off of me? Like you you eating my food. Wow. And they don't care. So half of the stuff, like my biggest ideas and creations, even the graphic design, I still got my graphic design and animation things. I'll be on that computer hooking it up. Okay? Things moving, creating videos, still creating videos. I'm going to create another music video too. I know a song I'm going to use. I'm going to use a 90s song, <laughs> a feel-good song, make people feel good. All right, bring it back. But, um, yeah, I got so much stuff I done created that nobody even thought of. Oh, but you want to try to send a, 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 a monitoring spirit or uh, some type of spirit into my room to, to see what's going on? They ain't going to be able to see it. But who the fuck is calling upon Byron, somebody upon me? No, you know the nigga gonna fuck you up. They're not even calling upon Papa Legba. Papa Legba, that shit, shit, I'm not fucking with Jasmine. Oh, hell no. But then, then you use another Haitian deity? I have Creole ancestry. He not fucking with me. They not going to fuck with me. So he trying to, so they, somebody trying to listen in. They trying to see what's going on. What's, what, what's, what's going on? It's not going to happen. Mm -mm. My ancestors be like, nah, get your ass out of here. Now turn the fuck around. They, they, they not playing. They are not playing. So let things unfold at their own pace. I remain calm and tolerant. During any challenging time. So yeah, they're going to, somebody's testing someone on purpose. They want to test your patience. They want to test how well can you do when, how, how, how you going to react when we put hard times on you. Let's see how, how, how humble this person is. Somebody saying that they want to humble you, but they not even humble themselves. Wow. So they're about to go through a humbling experience after all that they putting you through. What? It's always somebody's time though, right? Um, I develop quiet hope, quiet hope, quiet hope, excuse me, and expectations based on trust both in and in, uh, I develop quiet hope and expectations based on trust both in myself and in a higher power. Like I said, the divine. But somebody is forcing you to do something, but it's not going to happen. All right, let me get another card and I'm out. All right, so this one flipped over here and this one is over here. So let's see. So this one flipped over in my hand. It flipped over in reverse. So I have everything I need right now for an abundant life. They know you don't because they making your life hell. You don't have everything you need right now. Somebody needs somebody to, like, be strong. Somebody needs somebody to, like, you know, push through, pray through it. 
Somebody needs somebody to like not give up. But whoever they want to survive or something like that, some whoever they want in their life is not supposed to be in their life. Wow. The person that they need, whoever they feel like they need is not the person that they need. They just want, they just used to that person. That person wicked. Whoever that they, it's, a, it's somebody that they're not with, that they never had contact with. That's supposed to be in their life. That's going to help them grow and evolve, man. When them two get together, I keep seeing $10 million. I know y'all saw my other readings, $10 million. Ten million dollars. Somebody's gonna be somebody gonna be worth more than that. But that's what somebody already worth and they not even known. This is why they sucking off her energy. Oh god damn. Wow. So you don't have everything you need for an abundant life because somebody's making it real hard for you and they're making it hard for you on purpose. This person could like purple. Somebody here could be dealing with a cancer. He could have cancer in his chart. He could be a Libra or he could be a Virgo or he could be on a cusp. He's doing it on purpose. He don't, this person is abusing their authority and somebody who is an authoritative figure knows this, but they're not saying anything to him. He already got himself tied up and wrapped up into a situation he's not going to be able to get out of. And that's, that's bad when you, in the government, something with the government. Somebody likes the color purple a lot or the, the movie, the color purple. Somebody could be a Gemini, somebody could be a Libra, or the Gemini knows this. Something here is known that somebody is doing something, causing these discrepancies, causing these ha the havoc in somebody's life because they don't want them to have no type of happiness or money or something because he can't suck off of her energy no more. He was awarded a, a, a water sign he could be doing this to. Wow. He was awarded and gifted something. He's trying to make somebody pay for something that they're not even supposed to be paying for when they don't even have the money to pay for it. He don't care, though. Somebody's. They're blocking their business, too. Or blocking them, blocking them from being seen on social media. Doing something to their pictures or their website. Blocking their business. They don't want them to have an abundant life. When they supposed to have their abundant life because he wants her energy. And this is an older male. He's 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. 55 to 65 years old. He got awarded something that he wasn't supposed to be awarded for because he was still in somebody's energy to receive that award. That award don't belong to him for some type of spokesman or communication or something like that. That doesn't belong to him. That is not his. Oh, I just saw his karma. I can't tell you what it is, though. He's doing this on purpose. He's part of the the issue because he's an authoritative figure, but he's abusing his authority. He's going to do something to make somebody cry or uh, be a part of the situation to hurt somebody and hurt their feelings. Okay, so this was in reverse too. I will hold myself to a standard of grace, not perfection. This person don't like the fact that to you, to to them... You are perfection. They feel like, oh, your life is unblemished. You're too perfect. You shouldn't have this. You shouldn't have that. If you did have this ab uh, abundance, they would feel like your life would be unblemished. So they causing these blemishes on purpose. Maybe they're doing something to your face to cause you to break out. Maybe they're causing you to stress out, stress out on purpose. Whew. Mm. They don't care, though. He's working, whoever this person is that like purple, I don't know why I'm seeing prints. Who is that? I got to meditate on that. Who is this? Okay. And so I hear somebody saying, well, since she's so intuitive, let's make her, let, let her figure it out. Let's make her find out on herself, for herself. But you already know. 
Damn, I've been seeing a lot of people in my dreams too. That that a lot of things been happening to them. Even the dead ones, the dead celebrities too. They've been telling me some shit that I'm not even going to expose. Mm mm. Cause it's going to unfold. It's going to come out anyway. It's going to come out regardless. I'm not saying shit. Only thing I'm going to do is speak when I'm told to speak. Somebody, there's a male here who wants you to speak when you told to speak. Bark like a dog. <coughs> yeah, they want you to be, somebody think they Prince Akeem. So somebody likes um coming to America. Maybe somebody ain't from America. Or maybe this is somebody's, uh, somebody likes the color green and purple or pur purple rain. This is crazy as shit. Just take what resonates. Because this person is the culprit of the situation. He's under the government. So he has government ties. With these authoritative figures that's doing this shit on purpose. Wow. I want to pull some tarot cards. How many minutes I've been on here? 45? I'll be right back.